has been a terrorist act. America will retaliate for what they did to our people as they flew in the air of a long island. Today I was given a vision about the whereabouts of Osama bin Laden, who was in a city close to Faiz Alabad, Pakistan. Bin Laden is dead. The U.S. intelligence community got wind that bin Laden was hiding somewhere in Pakistan. Israel is forever. And the Jewish state will live forever. 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 God says, Ford will be revived. This one nation shall experience what they predicted for this nation, an earthquake in Japan. A new group of terrorists are emerging. They will train pilots to plunge, to attack, to steal. Former Iraqi military officers who have defected to ISIS are now teaching their fellow Sunni extremists how to operate the planes. Oh, New Orleans, enough of this, enough! I will take uh, the men that have stood in faith, raise them above the flood uh, that shall destroy those that constantly bicker and stand against my servant Moses. What is happening in Egypt? They'll get tired of singing Allah, and they'll start singing about Yeshua. There's a man by the name of Mr. Clark, and there is also another man by the name of Donald. You are both watching me saying, could it be that God's speaking to me? Yes, he is. <laughs> Somebody, just a few minutes before you came on the show, you went out and you took the American flag and you said, I'm proud of my nation. And you raised it up and God said, you have been determined through your prayers to influence this nation you're watching me you're an influential person the Spirit of God says hear the word of the prophet to you as a king I will open that door that you prayed about and when it comes time for the election you will be elected there will be a praying president not a religious one but I will fool the people says the Lord I will fool the people yes I will God says, the one that is chosen shall go in and they shall say, he has hot blood. For the Spirit of God says, yes, he may have hot blood, but he will bring the walls of protection on this country in a greater way. And the economy of this country shall change rapidly, says the Lord of hosts. Listen to the word of the Lord. God says, I will put at your helm for two terms. A president that will pray, but he will not be a praying president when he starts. I will put him in office, and then I will baptize him with the Holy Spirit and my power, says the Lord of hosts. Call Suddenly, the Spirit came, removed from my eyes scales. I was praying for America, and I was praying for Israel. Nothing unusual. suddenly behind me starting behind my back going in the form of an arrow for hundreds of thousands of people and I turned around and I was stunned at what I saw this was not just a mere dream but this was a vision and so I raised my hand like this and every one of them raised their hands I looked back and they were doing the same thing. I shouted and they all shouted. They were one. They were one. 
one party one party of people it continued until I realized that the unity of these amongst them stood one that God had set aside to be the leader of this nation and then I heard gold I wasn't sure if this was attached to his name but he said to me he will restore the fortunes in this nation Bef because of his brilliance I couldn't quite see his face because that was not allowed because there was a mist that covered all the people and he was amongst them and the Spirit of God made me look at him and he said this man will throttle the enemies of Israel this man will throttle the enemies of the West and they are highly embarrassing moments that are about to occur for many many politicians in this nation and then there is a nation he showed me and took me itching for a new kind of war with America this nation shall come very subtly but he shall not come in the time of President Obama they shall come when this new one arises my David that I have set aside for this nation for they are saying how do we kill the giant how do we kill the giant of death how do we kill the giant of socialism how do we kill the giant of human secularism I have placed that man amongst you the name and the word gold remember that and God says these that shall reject him shall be shocked at how he takes the giant down and they shall say what is your plan for this this giant and he will take a simple stone remember the name and he will hold it up and they will laugh at him but the plan is so brilliant says the Lord it could only be, have been given by me <laughs> come on they will shout impeach impeach they say but nay they will shout impeach impeach but this shall not happen and then God says highly embarrassing moments when another Snowden arises and people will become very afraid they'll say we have no protection and then God says am I impressed with your weapons of war am I impressed with the strength of your men's legs ha! I have said I will bring this nation to its knees and God said you have been humbled and yet some more and then you shall hear the sounds of great victory for where are the people gathered where are my people gathered where is the sound of unity from my people and God says once you recognize the man that I have raised up pray for the enemy will do everything in his power to put a witch in the White House did anybody hear what he just said For Jezebel has chased away the prophets and even Elijah. Come on. Now I have said, go back. For this shall be dismantled so that there will be no more corruption in the White House, says the Spirit. God said, watch. I said, 20,000. Look not to Wall Street however observe I see a president 
it shall come. And this is not to speak bad about this one. There is a president who come who will come. And God says he will have absolutely no fear. Absolutely no fear. Will be decisive, make decisions. And then in the middle of the of, of the restoration of America rapidly because of a source of energy that shall come quickly and because of medical breakthroughs and because of agreements between nations specifically China God said they shall say we never dreamed this would happen when they shall say Christ will reign and this sh we shall not implement at all socialism where we will, where they have said, we will make history without God. No, you will not. No, you will not, says the Lord. Positive about what is going to happen with mankind, what is going to happen to the nations of the earth. If you look at what's happening today with Russia, you see the Cold War era almost wanting to come back, a revisitation of the Cold War between Russia and China. We see what's taking place. Can it be changed? Yes. How did God do it? In the Cold War era at the time, he had a Ronald Reagan. And it was a Ronald Reagan that stood up and took away the tumor. Now we see that this is trying to grow again and trying to come back to where there'll be this cold, uh, this be this, this, this coldness between Russia and America and trying to bring back an era. And, and I see it happening. But to me, it tells me that there will be another kind of Ronald Reagan that has to be emerged, that has to be raised up. So that this will take care of the tumor in, within the nations of the world. It's history repeating itself. I'm telling you right now what is going to happen after Barack Obama is you're going to see what's going to start transpiring. It may not happen in the very next election, maybe afterwards. But you'll see as, as this accumulates and there's, there's a threat of war amongst nations, God will once again raise up a man that will deal with it. And that's what I'm looking to. But I'm saying Lord, I pray today with your people. I call to you, Lord, because you have shown me New York. You've shown me New York. You've shown me, Lord, how the enemy has once again planned something. But this time it is completely different. It is not like 9-11. There is nothing like it. This is the most strange infiltration that shall come upon your screens. It shall come upon you in your movie houses. It shall come upon the places of comfort and pleasure. And they shall infiltrate and they shall say, we'll even black them out. We will even cause them to be so terrorized because there is darkness in one section and darkness in another section. Canada, keep your shield in front of you. Do not let it down. But they are focusing on you. The Spirit of God says one more thing I want to talk to you about. That little dwarf in North Korea. I'm getting a little tired of him. I think I'm going to go and pay him a visit, says the Lord. You watch and see what I do. Come on, come on. And that will be a big sign that the man that I'm sending with a stone for the giant is emerging. Says the Lord! I see a king falling. Oh, I see a king falling. Saudi Arabia. Yemen. Solomon. Lord, you are not pleased. The wall, there's a wall being built that will not be completed for a takeover 
already a plan. Iran, you have wicked plans. Your wickedness cannot be covered. I've seen you, says the Lord. I've already spoken about you. Father, I just pray you'd, you'd stop just for a minute. One man, his name was David, one of the greatest men ever. King David, whom that anointing, whether you like it or not, doesn't matter. That anointing shall be set upon the soil and at the capital of the United States of America for the new years to come. They are even in California right now and they have proposed to do certain things on the television so that they will grab a hold of a network and they'll be able to do something. God said, this is no small thing, but hear me out. I have watched them and I have said, enough is enough. I will use my prophets and I will use my priests to raise up a voice and to make a sound. You are safe, says the Lord. You are not safe because of your president. You are not safe because of the White House or the Pentagon. You are safe because of the kingdom of God that exists and because there are a remnant of people that will stand and fight, says the Spirit of the Lord. Now have you watched, have you watched as my people have prayed that in the fall, have you watched? Have you seen the games that they play in the house they call white? Do you see the game that they play, says the Lord? What is this game that is being played between those that are in non anonymous who say they do not mean what they say? Watch. I listen to the prayers of the forefathers and the present fathers to bring what I promised to this nation. Would your greatest enemy stand on the capital, at the capital and declare, away with you, dove, away with you, spirit, away with you, Yeshua. No, it shall not be, but you shall be afraid as you hear these things but also mesmerized as I place many into a sleep that I may draw out of them the beauty of the bride this watch and see says the Lord now as I have placed the, the wall that represents Hezekiah's faith that prayed he turned his face to the wall and he prayed to the Lord. Today I want you to join me in praying this prayer because I tell you what's happening. When God spoke a few minutes ago, you will see. He spoke about a hypnotic November. And I said, Lord, the word hypnosis does not sit well with me. And God said, this is different. There shall be a lulling. You know, hypnosis puts you to sleep. God said this that is going to happen is going to be mesmerizing during November and December where I will expose one after the other. And people in this nation shall look and say, we have to call upon the name of the Lord. them says the Lord that's what the enemy want to cripple your economy and to cripple your children but the Spirit of God says they will breathe in the air that is pure for I will take the air of this nation and I will purify it says the Spirit of the Lord for they want an inoculation against that which is being sent into this country but it is not being sent in from outside says the Lord it is already inside this nation your enemies are within says the Lord and I will wipe them out one at a time but before I do I shall go over to 
the land where you, you are having war. And I will strike down the enemy quicker than you imagine, says the Lord. I will cause a spirit of betrayal to arise and the people will be afraid. Great fear shall come upon them. Great fear shall come upon them, says the Lord. Not because of the strength of America. And not because of the strength of the religious. Because the Lord said, I determined this day that I will do what I'm going to do. And I shall do it, says the Lord, for the sake of your children and your children's children. Therefore rejoice, for the battle has begun. But it shall end swiftly with a great shout of victory, says the Lord. This region has been thirsty and crying out for the revelation of God. For it was in the northern parts of California that I brought forth a movement, the Jesus movement. And God says now, and I choose you south. I wish to reveal myself in a way that I have never done before, says the Lord. triggered a word. What happened in the 60s and the 70s in California with this Jesus movement, I've already prophesied this, but he said, this is the time for that major revolution. Now is the time. Hi, everybody. I just wanted to take a moment today to say thank you to you. Because as we've been going through Prophetic Rewind, which has now been on for uh, five years, I've been doing Prophetic Rewind, and I, I, by now I was sure I would have run out of footage to share with you, but God is incredible, and uh, the, what He did through my dad is incredible. And the fact that I can keep sharing this stuff with you, and I mean, as things are happening throughout the world right now, I am just finding more and more stuff that didn't make sense before, or maybe we just passed over it, that is making sense now. And there is no way I would be able to share this with you and with so many other people if it wasn't for your generosity and your supporting Prophetic Rewind and, and the legacy of my dad. And that so many of you have continued to do that over the years has just, my heart is just, just full because uh, it, it really shows me what an impact my dad and his life had, but what, more importantly, God did through my dad and the impact that has and is still having today. And so for those of you who wish to support us, um, we have many different ways that you, can, that you can give to Prophetic Rewind so we can keep doing this. And um, you know, those will scroll under your screen. We, we have so many options. And so whatever God has put on your heart to, to do to support this, you have no idea how much it means to me, to our family, to this ministry, and to the thousands and millions of people who will see this and, and will be moved that God can speak to them. And my dad had such a specific voice and, and style and uh, reached so many different people and is still doing that. And that was God. That was God doing it through him. And now he's doing it through us. And so thank you again from the bottom of my heart for for supporting the legacy of my dad and what God is still doing today. And so, I love you all. You know what I love about the prophetic is you get so close to the heart of God. You hear His mind, His thoughts, what He plans to do. You know, you need this on a regular basis. and. There are millions of viewers all over the world that experience this twice a week, sometimes even more, at my den. And you can experience it as well. I would love to have you there. All you've got to do is go to kim.tv. We have so much. We have worship. We have songs that come from the heart of God, prophetic words about things that have not happened yet. That's all we, we say to the people, welcome to the future. And I want you to experience that. 
I look forward to seeing you there.
xúc đi qua những cung bậc tình yêu ta chẳng thể giữ lấy nhau một phút thế nhưng mà trên đời cướp một thu giờ đã có những thứ anh ấy ôm chặt đặt mình em chẳng cần giữ để lại cho duyên tình bây giờ chúng ta chỉ đơn là giờ em đi theo ai của mình bang giờ ta hứa một đời sẽ mãi ở bên số trong đôi mắt em bây giờ là những giọt buồn rối ren và đã có những cố gắng anh ta một số nơi trái tim để đầu này em ở đây cất bước xa đi một chiều hoàng hôn em mang mình lên lại cho ai nhưng quên ô mưa rơi xuống làm